Ben oh. shooting. They can't. He slid Good. on up. <laughs> hey, listen, first of all, it's Cyber Monday. Have you guys bought your Skin Nation products? Because you should. <laughs> Wait, have you even tried them? I haven't tried them. Oh my God, you haven't? But okay, I was well, irrationally least... excited about them. I know. Not like, irrationally, you well, should be. Well, like but for somebody who had never tried them. Lindsay I was Godfrey, like, so by hi. the way. Hi. <laughs> a bold and the beautiful. Yeah. Um, okay, listen, I just want you to... This is the Miracle Potion. What's Miracle? Oh my this God, is, this is I know. Amazing. And then on your... I want it. If you do... Oh boy, see, you don't... I don't know how to do this. I don't... If you put this on your elbows, you will never, ever have chapped or dry elbows ever. Okay, and you... But you like don't. That. Like, I did. And also your knees, because, you know, we can... Our knees can get weird. Is also, in the cold... Feels? In the cold months... <laughs> In the cold months, you guys, people get very chapped. It smells so good. It Doesn't like it smell good? It, like, I know. I know. And but it would I, be good I, for massage oh, It'd yeah. be a good lube. No <laughs> judgment. No oh, judgment. Coconut whatever oil. you need. That makes sense. Yes, coconut like oil so and mango oil. Oh, my yeah, God. Uh, mango products, butter. Mango butter. Yes, sir. I created it. <laughs> it's really amazing. All the, Go to SkinNation.com. SkinNation.com, you guys. And uh, we're having a huge sale right now. So go and buy it. It's Cyber Monday. Go buy a bunch. We're having a huge sale. And go, 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 SkinNation.com. We're going to talk about this throughout oh, yeah. the podcast. Also, subscribe right down there. <laughs> subscribe to the podcast. Here, this is I paper. forget to tell you know, <laughs> <laughs> But I forget Skin to tell Nation people, and then they don't. Yeah. They don't know to subscribe to Single Mama Go Go, and you got to subscribe, and then we tell you when the episodes are coming because we have so many great guests, such as Lindsay. Her daughter's in the other room. She this is. is so Single Mama Go Go. It's super Single Mama Go Go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you're like the perfect guest for me. Oh, nice. You are a single mom. I am, and you are a go go. I am a go go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of going with like the whole like go go thing, and then I and then you were wiggling, so I did it with no, you. I go I go right to taking <laughs> off my clothes. Perfect. Um, th- I have this it's paper. I have this for us. Okay, paper. Yeah, <laughs> just in case. See your daughter's here. Just in case you want to say the f word. Oh, or something. You can write it. Yes, okay. because I never use the f word. You never do. I. I certainly don't get in trouble on the internet for using it. Well, but what's trouble? People get mad. Like a couple people tell you you're a filthy whore. Is that trouble? Like, I just get. I mean, no. It's, I'd like I, to see. Their I get fa- berated and it's a lot the people by who have avatars of someone right. who's famous or their cat. I just, yeah, I do, or their cat. It's true. Um, I just you know, don't like that's uh, not trouble. We right. don't know those people, so no. it doesn't matter. And I don't feel that way about uh, any sort. Of, I, I felt like I, I think language is kind of great, and somewhere along the yeah. line, somebody else, somebody decided it was a bad word. And yeah, I but didn't. like fuck it. She's up. Child is upstairs in Natalia's room. But this word, yeah, isn't it fornication under, under consent, consent of, of the king? king? Yeah, but you know, isn't that what it I, really does? Mean? I mean, I don't know. I so think I, that might be. It could be like that's actually what it means, or that was like what somebody decided that it meant. Fornication, yeah, is sexual intercourse. Yeah. <laughs> So we go sexual intercourse, sexual intercourse. That doesn't make me feel as good when I'm mad. Right. As saying, as saying. Well, and cursing has been proven to be a stress reliever. Yes, like, it that's, is. that's 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 a scientific fact. Yeah. I'm, and also, I grew up on the docks, and that's not like a ridiculous thing. I actually grew up on the docks, and I was kind of I had like this realization about it because somebody was like, "Why do you always say these words?" And I was like, "Because I grew up on the docks." <gasps> oh my god, I actually did. <laughs> I think I read that tweet. Yeah. Yeah. I was really excited about it. Felt yeah. very justified. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You followed me at one time, then you unfollowed me. Did I? Yes. It's so interesting. Twitter, by the way, can I just say I same feel with like I end up following and I feel like also I uh, Twitter blocks people. I, I, I mean they mess with you. And then I've yeah. also I've had people show up in my feed that are like random yeah. fans. Yeah. That I'm like, I did not follow you. I didn't and I've, you. And I've had to go and unfollow other Ooh. people because of my, I've had yeah, people I've had, with my Twitter. I know. I, I don't know because I've, I've had, had I've had, I've unfollowed people and then it tweaks them. Nothing tweaks people more than blocking them or unfollowing them. Oh God. I mean, and, and some people 
feel like they've been blocked from me and I haven't blocked them. No. See, but, and um, I don't think I've ever, that's so, I, I yeah, like oh no, it's that's... okay because I know I'm interesting. You're super interesting. So, <laughs> um, oh my God, I have so much to say to you. First of all, do you know that I, I could have almost played, who's your mom on Bold and Beautiful? Um, is it a character named Catherine? No, it's who a character was named Joanna Karen. Johnson? Do- who's Karen. Joanna Johnson? Yes, Joanna Johnson. Do you know I could have almost played that role? Did you? I yes, it, it was like we or were yeah. I, I it was mentioned when it, to me when it at, came when she came back. Uh huh. For it was this, mentioned like recently. Yeah, it uh, it was mentioned to me. That's it was kind of amazing. To me. Yeah, yeah, and so I could have been your mother. That'd been so crazy. That would have been, been like so wild. That's what you like. That's why I love about soaps is like you can you can have that. Like Aleda's father is only eight years younger than Josh Morrow, but he plays his dad. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I had and God bless you. God bless you. By the way, um, I I had uh, my son when I was on Young and the Restless. I think he was ten or eleven years younger than me. Right. And at the time, of course, I was super tweaked about having um, a kid so close in age. Close in age, it tweaked me. But um, but then I fell in love with Michael. Gra- it was Michael Grazi. I fell in love with him. I'm waiting for them to age up my kid to like have uh, like me have like a 21 year old child. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're just like having and, like scenes where I'm like, listen, baby. It does happen. <laughs> kind of, a woman in Hollywood, you kind of you when it happens to you when you're like 38. Or so, or like maybe, you know, like 35, 38, and you have a grown person being your kid, you start getting tweaking, and then you, when you turn into an old bag like myself, you don't care anymore. You're just happy that you have story. Yeah. <laughs> just, you're just happy you're excited. that you, you have a job and that you have a story and that. See, I kind of feel that way in general. Anyone gives a shit about you. That's why, I mean, you know, I feel that way in general, but I also feel like I sometimes. I feel like that. Oh. I just said shit. But she's upstairs. She can't hear you. Just in case. Uh, Just in case. I did look up the etymology of the word. Oh, you did of ah! of the word of the word. That and yeah. uh, it's comes from the Indo-European root meaning strike, also from Latin fist. Strike your fist. So I don't like that. Just. That's very angry. Fist what? It's it's just, I think it means to strike your fist, essentially. Yeah. Like, so that's what... Germanic words meaning strike. involving striking, rubbing, that's what and having sex or... Rubbing! Oh! Striking and rubbing. So it does mean what we thought it was. Yeah. Kind I'm of. looking out now in, in Wikipedia. Fornication under consent. So you can do that as long as the king says, yeah, that's cool. I as think long as the king goes, the king go thing for is it. possibly <laughs> not part somebody of it. making it a, like an act. Acro- somebody might have made that acronym. up. It might be completely yeah. accurate. We can say it's completely accurate. Yeah, I don't think it's right. It Although sound right. the king weird. at the time was doing a lot of it, so he's like, "Oh, in order for this to be okay for me, the king, um, I gonna make this okay for no. everyone." The king didn't care about it being fair for anybody. He was a king. Well, but that's. Oh, she so. definitely dumped everything out. Okay, That's it's her okay. favorite thing. It's to all do. good. It's all good. Your house is going to be uh, a disaster. Hey, it's all good. I have you. That's how I got you. I like your uh, daughter's name. Thank you. Yeah. Where'd it come from? Um, it is Latin for, um, and it means small winged one, or oh. and so like a fairy. Yeah. And her father used to call me little sprite when we first met. He thought that I looked quite like a fairy. Um, you do kind I, of. Which I couldn't argue. I was like, did you just call me like a woodland creature? And he was like, you don't look like a fairy. And then I was like, that's fair. You kind of do. I look a lot like a fairy. It's really, you like Tinkerbell. Yes. Like a beautiful fairy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and you're really good friends with him, you and Robert. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. We've worked really hard uh, to get there. And um, and I'm really grateful that we that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think we both just understand that she's our Comes priority. first. And yeah, if we ever have a... Very mature, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, and right, and right. That Mm -hmm. was you know for us that was most important is that she just feels like she has a family no matter what our family dynamic is because everybody's is different. Uh huh. Um. And you were telling me that you all hang out. Yeah. When he had a girlfriend and when I had a a boyfriend, we all kind of we called it our tribe. It's great. Um. And we all helped each other because she she's a mom too. She's a single mom. Yeah. 
Um, she won't be on my show. But she won't. But uh, <laughs> but it's I like having a good group of like single mom friends. <laughs> oh yeah. Because uh, you don't get it unless you've done it like that. Like, yeah. If somebody doesn't really understand it unless you've actually had to do it. Um, but yeah. So it was just kind of. I think you have to. I don't. You don't, obviously you can do whatever you want. You can do. <laughs> it's your family. But mm-hmm. I think for her and for your for the kids and it's kind of in the best interest to try to get along as best right as no you have to i know people who don't and it's just really silly and their their children are it's so upsetting for the children yeah. so i well they're babies they don't must. deserve a, like adult emotions like that like yeah jealousy yeah. They, and, when they, but they don't understand that kind of no they're not there and they're until they become still jaded so and black and white kids mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's not like all these like gray emotions that mm-hmm. adults have they really mm-hmm. are just like kind of happy, mad, sad, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's really kind of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think you kind of have to deal with them with that. And even if you, ha- there's probably moments where he wants to, you know, like scream at me or something like that. We just kind of smile. Not. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't have moments like that. No, but I mean, everybody. You listen. You have a relationship with anybody. You're always gonna have moments where you're like, oh, I'm oh yeah, yeah. I'm really happy to have you on this podcast because Thank you. you are amazing i think you're amazing i'm a huge fan of yours oh thank you yeah first of all you're a really great actress and that is what is but your whole life is extraordinary it's kind of nuts like what you've been through in your life yeah is amazing thank you and now you're being a mom a single mom and and an actress in this town which is super hard that coupling as i know and but i want to talk a little about because um, you know, I had when I was 19 years old a brain tumor. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. And it was benign. Oh, thank God. And well, yeah. <laughs> um, I was 19, I had a brain tumor, and I remember there was a moment I'm a crier oh, first of it's all. Okay. But there was a moment, yeah, you know. Um, there was a moment when you're I was being wheeled to the surgery because I was I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna get it, brain surgery and get the tumor taken out. That's like it. I was like cool. <laughs> and I really did have that attitude, right? I'm just going to get it taken out. And of course, you know, my family was all like, and acted in weird ways. Mm-hmm. And, um, but I had a moment, and I remember it vividly, uh, where I was being wheeled down, and, and, and there were windows, and I could see cars driving by, right? I could see people, it was like eight in the morning, I guess they were going to work. And I had this thought of like, wow, those people are just driving to work and I'm going in for brain surgery. And it seemed very odd to me, such a disconnect yeah. of life. And it was just very interesting to see, whoa, like those people don't know how I feel right, right now. Yeah. And I thought to myself, don't ever forget this. Cause I was pretty terrified at this, this moment. And I thought, Oh, don't ever forget this feeling because nothing you go through in your life will ever be this difficult. I remember yeah. thinking that. Don't ever forget this feeling. Yeah. Of course, I've forgotten the feeling. Sure, everyone does. And, <laughs> and I want to know, like, if you, I'm sure you had moments like this when you were going through mm. your your treatment. Yeah. Because you had Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah, Hodgkin's right, lymphoma. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm one of those people, I'm not one of those people that, I'm definitely one of those people that are, grateful for having had cancer i like I'm, I'm grateful for the way that it's made me look at the world and made me look at my relationships with my family and my friends and with even with my daughter and i think and with just life in general mm-hmm. um i definitely uh i feel differently with about everything than i think other people often do um <laughs> she's making so much okay <laughs> Uh, I don't feel that way. <laughs> uh, it's cool. That's what it's for. That's it's what Legos. Like one that's what Legos things, are like, for. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, but yeah, I, I mean, I had a lot of those moments where, you know, yeah, you're like you're driving to go get chemo, and and you are sitting there thinking, like, man, my friends are like in high school worrying about whether or not they're making the cheerleading squad. I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess we were out of high school by then, but they're wondering like what they're what you know classes they're going to take in the fall semester. Yeah. And I was like, this just seemed really heavy <laughs> in general. Um, but we just laughed a lot with mine. I think yeah. that's how my family is. We're like, oh, you have to no, you have to. Yeah. And we're queens of like, it's mostly women in my family and we are queens of like inappropriate laughter and inappropriate jokes. Great. Um, 
It's great because we just don't that, know how to deal with that. And, well, no, <laughs> but but I but I think that you know it's like comedians. Why did they become a comedian? Because right, because they were in a lot of pain. Yeah, though. there was a lot. Yeah, and yeah. I think I think it's appropriate, and I think you should. When my sister got sick, because she had stage three breast cancer a few years ago, and yeah, that infusion room is pretty heavy. Yeah. So so I I think and i think that those nurses would agree that that's how you the only way to get through it yeah, is to, to to make the joke yeah. you know and i and i'll notice like in many times on soap operas when they do cancer stories like the the writing or on tv uh when when there are cancer stories writing's very very like black and oh my cancer and they are talking to their yeah. friends about their cancer and it's like not once did my sister go I can't like it was yeah. all like no this is um, we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this yeah we, you have to and you have to laugh about it and like uh, you know nudge about it I mean we always got used we called it using the cancer card like if I didn't want to do something I was kind <laughs> of like well I have cancer so I don't want to yeah I don't have to do that all right fine yeah uh and uh, yeah I think you have to do that I think that that's kind of your only option could you imagine like, like sitting in that kind of sadness I just wouldn't want to even be there and some people do yeah um but I just wouldn't like I, we always joke like the wind would blow and I'd be like oh my god my hair's gonna get messed up and my niece would look at me and she'd like, she was so little and your mom shaved her head my mom shaved her yeah, head yeah. Mm -hmm. my mom shaved her head my baby niece was like six at the time chopped off like 11 inches of her hair my best friend chopped off a bunch of her hair they all did it but yeah my mom but wait did your best friend shave her head no, she didn't well, shave her head, but she... But I, I question... Yeah, I question the friendship. <laughs> question the friendship. <laughs> That's amazing. But my mom did shave her head, which I was amazed by, because my mom's got a lot of hair, and I knew it was going to look really silly when it was growing <laughs> like, and, and the first, like, three inches. Yeah, but wow. it's just so, like... And it just sticks straight. Like, it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, but I couldn't believe that she did it. My mom's kind of... Uh, She's kind of awesome. Like, she's yeah, kind of she is awesome. People. Yeah. When we were doing the walk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When we were doing the walk and then they mentioned you and all your friends were there. Your mom. Yeah. I love, yeah. My mom's amazingly. It was she's just really beautiful. Like I could really feel so much love in your with your friends and your family. There yeah. was so much love. I'm, I'm very fortunate with I, I very. have a small like group of people around me who I'm very very quite uh, like tight knit with and uh and I'm very fortunate with how mm -hmm. how much love I receive from them yeah yeah it's incredible do you think that 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 plays a part in your attitude toward life though still yeah. or is it okay so you've remembered moments and you've held on to them yeah I think in general like like I always tell people like when they like have birthdays and they're like oh man I'm getting like this age or what I'm like hey not everybody gets to get older yeah don't forget that and they're like uh oh, <laughs> I'm like not everybody, and I think just because I've had so many reminders of like, hey, don't forget that this could just go away tomorrow. Like mm -hmm. you could be walking on a sidewalk and get run over by a motherfucking car. <laughs> like she did, by the way, <laughs> just walking on the sidewalk. And have both. That's like two years now, just or a year. It's and a half. year and a half. Yeah, It'll, next February will be two. That's years. That's phenomenal. Um, and so you just, I think that's what the universe is trying to remind me all the time like is just don't forget like this could be tomorrow it could be yeah. nothing like i was minding my own business i was in such a good mood like walking down the like side i will sure i'm more sure yeah on a or i was on an olympic in bundy okay all um, right right coming out of there's like a trader joe's walgreens right there okay and I was coming out of the walgreens like going to breastfeed my kid <laughs> that's amazing and you didn't have your daughter with you and that's it was such a rare thing I was coming from an appointment and I didn't have my daughter and I just popped in to grab prenatal vitamins so I was taking the prenatal vitamins so that I right. could um, get pregnant again no not get pregnant I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> Shut that down. <laughs> no, but they're great vitamins. They're they're great they're vitamins, filled. and because yeah. I was breastfeeding, I I felt like I yeah. needed extra help um, in the vitamin department, and so yeah, I was just literally walking out when that happened and thinking about like my future. Um, the latest father and I had separated. Um, we were still cohabitating, but we had separated, and so I was like, we were just like, I was walking, and I felt like really positive, like, oh, we're gonna be great friends, and everything is so great, and I'm gonna help him, and da -da -da. <laughs> like, that's kind of it. So, did you take that as a sign of like, oh wow, we're not gonna be great friends? No, I didn't. I couldn't put that blame on him. He didn't yeah, do anything. Okay. Wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> Robert. I like him very much. He's, he's very lovely. sweet. I like him very much. Yeah, he's so um, lovely. Uh, fuck. I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> that That's so astounding. Do you forget a lot of things with that? Friend, uh, the reason no. I asked a friend of mine, you don't. No, I because was. Because most people do. No. You know. I was so awake. Wow. And my body did not I remember the shock. Wait, and I remember you telling me that you're like, I have to get to work. I have to get to work. That was, okay. Yeah. I, I literally, as the paramedics showed up, they were like, oh, man. Um, and I heard them say that the bones were out of the skin on one Fuck. of my feet. And I was like. Uh, <laughs> you're like, no. They were facing backwards. Like, And yeah. I genuinely in my head thought, well, just put them the right way. <laughs> and let's get going. Yeah. Like, and I, they sure, you in. you kick can- yeah. listen like, no I understood you kick cancer in the ass yeah. I fucking kick cancer in the ass I can fucking be the king of my fucking feet yeah I was like I got you know to do today with the queen yeah I, yeah it's like no I mean feminist. after you after you kick cancer in the ass yeah. you're immortal yeah well, honestly so. it's true um, well you starting, ca- you I are I'm that not, you're fucking walking over here right. with, and in heels and and in um, fact you went through chemo and you're you came in here with your daughter yes you're um, amazing i've decided that i'm not maybe immortal as much as i am just wolverine <laughs> and that's what i've decided i'm okay, kind of comfortable with cooler. being wolverine that's kind of cooler. um but yeah they they loaded me up into the stretcher and they said uh there i was like no no i gotta go breastfeed uh, my daughter she i'm she's due and i was like i gotta get home and they were like no ma'am there's your feet are not the right way and i was like well no i need to get home and they were like no ma'am you have to go to the hospital like we've we got to put things back in the skin and i looked at him and i went no i have to go to work tomorrow and he was like no you're, you're not, not going, going to, work. to work and i was like well how long is this gonna take and he was like no you have to have surgery like major surgery you can't go like you have to oh, no so ma'am and i, I love go, that he's like trying to reason with and you he was, it's so I, funny and, and i go no i cannot show not not show up for work that's not how my job works like, I can't just call in sick. That's not how it works. <laughs> and he was like. Amazing. But you know what's so amazing to me is, okay, so it was your ankles, right? It was, yeah. It was, well, it was both of my ankles and then my, my tib fib, which are your shin bones on my left side. Okay. That maybe if you were a little forward or like, that's like so crazy. Or if I hadn't have Right? Run. If she, if she was just yeah. a, a, like in yeah. inches. some inches. Yeah. Like, fuck. Or if I had, do you think of that? I think I'm totally fine. Yes. Yes. Well, and the thing was, I saw it. So I saw the accident and I saw the car coming up and I remember thinking, oh man, I need to run. And then having like the girl thought where you're like, is it dramatic of me if I run? (laughs) Like, I feel like as women, we apologize a lot. From the car coming at you. Is it dramatic if I run? Oh, for (laughs) God's sake. No, no, you have to run. Oh, so you did? Yeah, I ran. Oh, Jesus. But had I not run, I don't know that I would be. I don't know that I would be here around. Yeah, yeah. because he did. I mean, it, he, did t- somebody he did so much damage hit to the him. W- yeah, right. He basically, was driving, and a woman went to make a left-hand turn. Neither of them should have done the things that they did, mm-hmm. and it led to this collision. And then I'm what I, I'm not sure about is why he then went across six lanes of traffic and up and over. A, a sidewalk wow. and a bus bench. So I, I can't make any speculations about anything. But <laughs> that's what happened. Incredible. Yeah. It's nuts. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, if I talk about like anything else, it's like a, de- a degrade to how amazing she is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, okay, well, let's talk about dating. I mean, <laughs> after that. Right? Like, she's Superwoman. It's it's phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Are you... Okay, so listen. You're super young mm-hmm. and super hot. Oh, thank you. I don't and feel it super talented. <laughs> what well, you are. Right, guys? Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Um, Very. Thanks. Right. <laughs> And by the way, SkinNation.com, SkinNation.com, okay? And, and subscribe. subscribe. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> yes, it is a the, tribe. The women I, help each other. Yes. No, back in the day, the men would impregnate the woman. Yes. You would be pre- you'd have the baby. They'd go away. Yeah. Just like the animals do it. They they never see their kids. They just hit up the the tigress. Yeah. And they're gone, but man. Then all of the women, other, but they're animals, know, of course. And but then all of the women are helping take care of the babies together. And, yeah. and it's kind of like this amazing, 
nothing tribe wrong with the tribe. Nothing. Women mm. help women. Yeah. And men are basically animals. So. And men are basically right. animals. You know, but women help. When I'm really, I'm truly of the mindset. And I think that anyone who knows me or knows of me knows that I am a chick. Yeah. I'm all about the chicks. Yeah. And supporting the chicks. I'm the same. I don't, yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, I could see it in yeah. you. And, and like, I've never, I've always, all my co-stars wives always been super tight with them. Yeah. Um, they've never been like, oh, I'm worried about that Michelle Stafford and my husband right. ever, right. ever. And, um, uh, yeah, you know, I grew up in my mom in the seventies. She was a, she worked. Right. And, and she had a lot of female friends and they were all working women, which it was it, not, it was somewhat rare in the seventies. Sure. And, um, it was just, you know, coming to be, but I grew up n- not even understanding jealousy at right. all. Like my mom, it just didn't occur. It didn't go on with my mom. I right. never learned it from anyone. You have a feeling about somebody, you tell them. Yeah. If you think they're amazing, you tell them they're amazing. Yeah. I if you feel think the same they're beautiful. Way. If you think they're an asshole, you say, Hey, you're kind of acting like an asshole. Like right. you just tell them. So anyway, with that with that but and the tribe like i'm all for the tribe there's your daughter hi babe i just doing some work okay <laughs> she understands work and therefore she so loves songs on. about real, work real show oh yeah songs and, about work yeah she loves like songs like, about poopies uh, well th- i mean specifically like there's like two songs out right now like pop songs that like repeat the word work 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 oh work, and you're like over work, work. and she thinks they're the best songs in the yeah. entire world and yeah. I'm and I'm kind of like oh man yeah sorry no they're great no it's <laughs> but, great but I just she knows mommy laugh. goes out to work and I think it's I great. think it's because that's what I we always have to tell her to justify when we leave I'm like listen I just have to go to work your work and your <laughs> you make it you make it nice <laughs> and she came to work with me for the first seven and a half months of her life mm-hmm. she was on set with me because mm-hmm. um, I was breastfeeding yeah. Uh, so she definitely understands, and she understands like when we go to mommy's work and mm-hmm. like, what that is. And I think it's it a is. good thing for her to know. Yeah, that we go to work. And that we do go to work. Yeah, yeah. I have this like really strong viewpoint on cheating. Oh, I have a really strong v- viewpoint because I actually, and it's, I'll, I'm going to qualify even more is when women, um, uh, uh go for somebody else's man. Oh. Ooh. I have a very strong viewpoint. I've never done that in my life. Right. I've never been with a married dude ever no. in my life. And in fact, even when they have a girlfriend, I'm like, ooh, uh-uh. And um, I I have this, uh, bye, thank you. I, I, your mom lives isn't it great? Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. God. Yeah, where's your mom live? Florida. Florida. Everybody Still. I know is on the East Coast. Ay, ay, ay. But I... I I almost think it's like a desperate move. I think, you know, to be honest, I'm going to go like super psychological on you. Oh, but I God, think it's that, great. I love like, it. I love it. I think that as women, we, because we, not everybody does feel the way that, or not, was not taught the way that you were taught. No, they weren't. Um, and they take it as a challenge. Okay, Come here. They like going after another woman's man because they think it's a challenge. And do you, hey, baby girl, do you want to get her and bring her upstairs? Do you want to go upstairs and play with the Legos and play with the Shopkins? You have Shopkins all over this house. What are you talking about? Baby girl? Like, look. Sweet baby Jay is over there. He's like, what's happening? How come I'm, how come all these, he picked the right family. He just has chicks growing out of his ears. They're just chick. He knew what he was doing when he picked this family. Hi. I look at his smile. He's like, yeah, I know what I was doing. Yeah, you do. I've already realized with my son that I already see how women react to him when he smiles because he's, he's kind of handsome, my son, right? Very and, yeah, he's very handsome. I didn't want to seem like I was weird. I don't think so. Um, I think you can say that about your children. I can say I about think, my own child. Yeah, right? I think so. And I think my daughter's you. very pretty. She's beautiful. But um, thank your daughter's. Thank you. But, um, but that's not the most important thing. What's the most important thing, Natalia? Money. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> totally kidding. That you're smart and that you're funny. <laughs> that yeah, that you're smart, right? We told Alita told me that mommy was funny in, today in the car. <laughs> oh. You get the child you deserve. 
you get the child you deserve. My mom said she said your first kid is your payback for the kind of kid that you were as a child. Oh, you know what? My second kid is my payback. Is it? Really? Oh yeah, I'm exhausted every second of the day. Really? Oh yeah. Two, well, two like, is a lot more than one. Oh yeah, and this and a boy. <laughs> oh yo. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you. Hey, baby, you want to bring? Do you want to bring her upstairs? Do you Why don't you bring her downstairs to see the playroom? Do you want to see the playroom? <gasps> yeah. Do you wanna? Do you let's wanna go, take paper and color too? Oh my okay. goodness, yes. But let's not bring her. Down. Let's go for sure. Yeah, bring her downstairs, baby girl. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, you're going to get a prize for being such a good girl. Go downstairs and show her the playroom. <laughs> she drew you a heart. Those are really cute. Yeah, I was like, I don't want you to. <laughs> don't take this one. But I do. I have the, because I think it's really desperate. And it's like, yo, can't you find your own man that you got to go for another woman's man? March of the Penguins. I go back to March of the Penguins when, you know, she took the egg from the that one chick. She didn't have an oh. egg anymore. She's like, oh, desperate. I need an egg. I need an egg. Survival. I mean, I think that a lot of people go after married dudes because they, they feel like it's a challenge. They And I just have, I have, I see it and I get really offended when I meet, like I'm talking to some guy and I'm just talking and then the girl or the wife comes up like hello and I want to go yo oh no I'm not the one you worry about I'm never so so but yes a lot of people weren't raised I don't I I think that you know I think in in I feel really strongly about this especially being a mom to a a daughter I think having a daughter um, absolutely somebody once said something to me and it was very profound and it's I've had a couple of like little nuggets of like parenting advice that are my favorite um my first one of my most favorite things ever came from rena sofer um she's she's great and she told me um, great mom she said never take advice from people whose kids you don't like (laughs) oh yeah well yeah (laughs) and i love and it's solid advice and i love rena's children i think they're the most spectacular humans ever she just lets her kids be whoever they want to be it's amazing and they are amazing and they are the most like strongly like like fundamentally strong yes. human beings yes. and they're just totally comfortable and they can have amazing conversations with you i mean her her older her older daughter is like is incredible 19, but she's this incredible artist yeah and, and avalon um is i think 11 or 12 and she'll have like full-on like adult conversations oh with yeah you and, like, oh yeah older, and not like that was very important to rena because we're good friends right yeah. that was so her children were the most important thing and that, it shows because yeah. they are just Again, I can't say enough nice things about how much I love Rena mm-hmm. Silver or her children. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was my ma- favorite. And then somebody told me to be the example of the kind of woman I wanted my daughter yeah. to be. Yeah. And that really changed a lot of things for me. Right. Um, and I, and that's why I was so accepting when her dad got a girlfriend. I was like, welcome to our family. It's great. Like, I want you to feel safe here. You want someone else to love your kid, especially the woman who's going to be around their father. There's worse things in the world than having someone else love your kid. There's worse way, things in the yes, world than having way, someone else love you. Way and worse I wish, things. I wish people would understand that. It's not a threatening thing if you just make it safe. You're always their mom. You'll always be their no, mom. They know you are. Him. Absolutely. But there's there's worse things in the world than my child having another strong female role model in her life. For that sure. she has a strong love and connection with. Right. And I feel so powerfully about that. Yeah. And um, back to your point, I think that we are, as women, raised by society to be in competition with each other yeah, and it's, I, it's ridiculous i had this conversation with a but we're but i think that we're smarter than that we're we smart. are smarter we, than that we don't have to agree to that we don't we're have to smarter agree. than that we're 100 percent smarter and yeah but i just there's like all of these things i had this conversation with a friend of mine who's a a young <clears throat> actor he's very handsome and he was asking me about women and he was like what is the like whole thing like he, he said that he feels like a lot of girls especially in their early 20s are very uncomfortable and insecure and I was like it's because we're put on this ridiculous pedestal Mm -hmm. where we're supposed to be like these incredible like sexy lingerie wearing virgins that are Mm -hmm. supposed to have all of this experience and knowledge but Mm -hmm. not actually allowed to actually step off of it Mm -hmm. and so I think between this I think that there's so much pressure put on women to to yeah. get married and to have children and to be the prettiest or the funniest and the smartest and, and to take each other down. And we're not told 
you should be the smartest. We're told you should be the prettiest Mm -hmm. or the hottest, Mm -hmm. you know, nowadays for sure. But that's what's being shown to children with social media. And you, and you know, that's why I wanted to do this because we're, we're living, I fear even more in a world of bullshit. And that's why I wanted it to be an honest show. So, so women out there, men and women go, Oh, Somebody else feels this way. Yeah. Because you want to know that somebody else feels the stress that you do too. Because if you feel you go through life and you're the only one who's feeling unhappiness or stress, you are you feel so isolated. And it's and it's worse, of course. Yeah. Well, I also feel like you become We all feel happier. the same. Yes, we do. And yeah. you feel happier when you go, I don't really give a fuck if, yeah. you know, like what yeah. anybody else says I should be or shouldn't be yeah. or anything. Yeah. But and I miss the class where, oh, we're supposed to get married. I mean, you know, like right. I, I well, never... For you, I man. never had that, you know. I was like, I'll just do my own deal, but it would really be nice if you had for me. someone to <laughs> fucking pay my bills, which is probably the fifteenth time I've said this right on throughout the podcast. Yeah, I have a really fun game for us. Okay, okay? for and and I just have to tell you again, I think you're extraordinary. Thank you. I think you're extraordinary. It's a love fest up in here. Ooh. It is. I mean. At the ripe old, old age of like 25. Me? Yeah. Thank to, you. To, I'm wait, not, wait, you're I'm, younger than that. I'm older than oh. that. <laughs> um, That's this, whatever anybody tells me. I don't yeah, correct you. We're not going to tell, um, tell our age here. I did we have somebody say to me the other day, they said, what are you, 22? And I went, yeah. And then the con- conversation continued. And then I went, I'm sorry, I have to stop you. I don't know why I told you I'm 22. Because it's I, easier. I, but it wasn't even like, I just actually told him. And, I, and it wasn't like. I was like, oh, I'm going to go along with it. I actually was like, yes, I am 22. That's exactly how old I am. And then he started talking, and I was like, that's a lie. I don't know why I said that, because I haven't been 22 in a couple of years, and I just flat out, I'm just really tired. And so when somebody goes, did you see that movie? And you're like, yes. Yes. And then they keep talking, I know, and, they and you're, tell, like, you're like, oh, I'm God. sorry. I did not see that movie. That's I just meant, yes, I know like, what movie you're talking well, about. I usually go with, I usually, uh, to the end, it's like, if I lied, I have to support my light. Yes, it's my daughter. Yes, Natalia. Baby girl. Oh, okay. She has to come in front of the camera. No. About uh, about ten more minutes, baby girl. Okay. Can you go downstairs, lover? Yes. Go downstairs. Okay. Have so much fun. Take care of. Be a good big sister. And you're and and I'm gonna she has give such you a concerned face on it. I know. I don't know what something's I, happening. I think it's a lady. Might be freaking it's, out. Yeah. She might be freaking out. Yeah. Is is her daughter? Do you okay. want to bring her some food? Not freaking freaking out. Well, is this our food? She can have whatever she you have want. What, whatever you want. Okay, cookies. so this, uh, this. She can this, have a sugar cookie. I feel like make her she, happy. I give her a sugar cookie. Sure. It'll make her happy for the moment because she's going home with you. Yeah. So it's okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, we're doing a show right now. How about that? This one? Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Give her that, baby girl. Let me try it first. Oh, yeah. You need to try <laughs> it first. That's for sure. To make sure it's good enough. Is it good? Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, Natalia. Thanks, love. Thank you. Super sugar. Okay. Okay. But you feel it in your brain. You don't taste the sugar, but you feel it in your brain, she said. <laughs> okay. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, let's do this quick. It's so okay. Is so. it a trivia odds still when somebody says, oh, you're her mom? Like, that word, for some reason, really trips me out. Like, Alita called me mom the other day, and I was like, You're like, whoa, mom. Yeah, Weird. I, I, like, I, yeah, I every now and then I go, wow, a mom. I'm trying to push Because I never back. thought it would happen for me. So, it does. I actually sure. didn't know if it was going to happen yeah, I for know. me. Because I didn't know if I was physically able exactly, to. Exactly, exactly. And then I, I know. found out the, uh, after I had Alita that it was the opposite. <gasps> that I was told that, that, that you're it was going to be more fertile. Yeah, I was told it was going to be very difficult okay. for me to get pregnant and especially if I waited till after I was in my 30s okay because the women in my family go into menopause oh, but they so say, early they say that to all us women but I know but my the women in my family go, go into, into menopause yeah early. like my mom okay. was 40 okay. and then her aunt was 37 37 okay. um but 10 baby can can you okay. and uh and I was told yeah and because we did such aggressive chemotherapy yeah. I just thought it was gonna be very very difficult mm-hmm. um and after I had Alita, uh, we found out uh, that basically someone could just sneeze on me and I might get pregnant. Wow. Um, Great. <laughs> so we shut it down. Yeah. I'm not having that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you'll probably have more kids. Maybe. I, I don't feel know. that. I feel that you will. You're a great mom. Thank you. Yeah. So this game, okay. you're welcome. Thank not, you. Yeah. It's yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Deal with my compliment. You take it. <laughs> this is, I have a game called, I have a game called What Annoys You the Most. Oh, okay. And I have this is because. I'm going to say 10 on every, I'm probably one of the most. Yeah, one to 10. I'm, one I'm, to 10. I am one of the most uh, easygoing people, but I'm also one of the most irritable Me people. Me too. I, I am get so easily see, irritated yeah, by Yeah, I get annoyed. I get annoyed. Like sometimes <laughs> people chew and I'm like, oh, I'm so annoyed by No, that. it's a. Do, that's but a, I keep that's it to myself. I never get upset. You hear noises that like inconsistent noises. Yeah, that drive I'm like, you insane. Ooh. I don't like that. I don't Close like your tapping. mouth. I don't like clicking. Close your mouth. I don't like. Yeah, sometimes, but sometimes I'm cool. I'm not. But I get. I can get like, wow, me. that that really annoyed me. I can get, and that's as upset as I get. But oh, so I like <laughs> this game. What annoys you the most? Because it always brings laughs, doesn't it, Rob? <laughs> it always brings laughs. I love it. And it's very telling of a human being, too. It's very funny. Okay. okay, so, but ours is, what annoys you the most? Soap opera version. Oh. It's awesome. Bang, bang. My questions are awesome. Okay, 10 okay. being the worst. Okay. 10 being the worst. Okay. What annoys you the most? Okay. Okay, so how do you feel when your co-star... Uh, oh. Okay, so how, what, how do you feel when your co-star, they've seen you all morning, you've talked, all right, oh, let's run, run lines, okay, yeah, let's run lines, and then they wait until you are getting your makeup done, and especially your eye makeup done. Um, oh, okay. Huh, I, you know what? It really? Oh, ten. Um, oh, 10. 10. 10. I'm going to go. It She's going to go with me one. She, it doesn't annoy her at all. Yeah. Fuck. The only time because that, you're you know young. What? I don't care. Because I'm like, please. I just sit super still and then I tell really? them, hold on. I go, wait, Oh, wait, wait. because you say, hold on. Hang on one sec. I was like, oh, let me I just don't finish do this that. really quick. Or, oh, or she controls the I'll situation. And then she the says, only, wait one second. Yeah, just one oh, second. Oh, I'm like, I'm Let like, finish. like, oh, wait, wait. And I'm trying to do it at the same time. No. I'm like, oh, because you forget a line. You're running it. So you guys are, you know, yeah. on point. Right. And I'm like, uh, I, you it, know, it annoys me I'm, more if it's my lipstick because I can't move my mouth. Of course. Um, but even then, I'm going to say they know that I'm just going to go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And you know what the line is. So just move forward with the lines. <laughs> oh, so you're cool. with You're like, yeah, I know. I'm not going to let anything screw up my makeup. I'm just going to. OK. Yeah. See, because I get really annoyed because I'm like, why did you wait until I'm getting my face done? We could have done it when I was getting my hair done. Right. You know, and I can move around and I can do whatever. Right. Right. But it's but usually you're waiting. My fault. I've usually I've usually postponed it. I'll be like, yes, I'm gonna come in and we're gonna like I'll meet and you. You postponed room. it. And then I'm like, eventually I'm like running to makeup and like putting on my wardrobe still. Like oh, and they've and been they, waiting and, for and you. That, yeah. Or they, Ish. or Ish. or we haven't like I've yeah, gone to find them. They were gone. Exactly. They've come to find me. Exactly. I was gone. Right. Exactly. And it's usually that, and I'm like running to set and being okay. like, will you pick me up? Okay, bye. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it it does because I've had, I've had, I've had not that I've had co-stars. Hey, you want to do it? Yeah, I'll find you. I'll find you. And and they saw me in hair, and I'm like, hey, you want to run it? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm getting my makeup done, and now they want to run it. And I'm like, yo, you had me when I was eating. You saw me when I was in the green room. You saw me when I was in hair. You're waiting till now when I'm like, huh? huh? Oh wait, are there? Yeah, see, and I also do this move. Like, I all, my poor makeup artist, like, thank God that, A, they get me in and out within, like, 20 or 30 minutes. They're incredible. Yeah. But, B, they all, like, just deal with You're the very that easy I'm to like, make up, too. And I'm, I'm always, like, talking, and I'll be like, anyway, hang on. Yeah, you I don't, yeah, I don't like to do that. Like, I, I feel <laughs> bad. I'll feel bad. Okay, so, I, yeah. you're, you're awesome, and I'm not. <laughs> I know you're fine. Um, so, okay, all right. Oh, all right, so. What annoys you the most, soap opera version, when you're with your co-star in a scene, whoever it is, yeah, and they stop the scene because there's someone in their eye line. Because there's someone in their eye line, yeah. but you know it's really because they don't know their line. Ooh. I feel, uh, I feel, here's how I feel about it. It depends on A, the scene. Where are you going? Seven? I'm going to go five. You can do five. 
Yeah, okay. Because here's the here's thing. Okay. One or two, one of two things. A, uh, if it's an emotional scene, I'm really upset. Yeah. If it's not an emotional scene, that's fine. However, I have also, I suffer from uh, ADHD and not in like the cute uh, LA oh, way that people not say. Not cute. <laughs> um, that they're just like, oh, I got ADHD. Like it's, a, it's something that's plagued me since I was a young child and I have really a tough time concentrating and I'm easily distracted by things. Okay. And so if the, the person's in, so, so you might So to me, I, nothing in the world makes me okay. more upset than when like, Somebody's having like a really animated conversation behind. No, like, not not and that. I'm like, like moving around and stuff like that, and I'm like, "What is happening?" Oh no, no, that's there? just rude. That's rude of the crew. No, that's different. Okay. And you have every right to go. Oh, guys, seriously, yeah. you have every right. I'm talking about when an actor actually doesn't know their line, oh. but they're blaming not on you know one of the crew members, which happens a lot. <laughs> you know, they're just like, um, they're, and you know. Dude, you just didn't know your line. Don't fucking blame it on right. the teamster. And again, I think you I, know this poor guy is below the line. Like he can't go. He can't go. You didn't know your motherfucking line. You know he can't. He can't call you out. No see, one calls the actors out. See, by the way, everybody knows wait, that but, actors can't be called out, which I is get so wrong. Out all the time. You do oh my by God. another actor. No, everybody gives me a tough time just because I've opened myself up to that. Like if we. You're some, a fun target. You're probably a, a fun and, uh, target. Because, and I do it to everyone. And there's a cameraman named Dean, who I love very Dean, much. Dean? Is it uh, Dean Lamont? Yes, who I love. Love him. So much. He's but amazing. I don't know where this happened or when it happened, but we've developed some sort of a, a relationship. He's lovely. Where something gets messed up and they go, okay, stop. Hang on. we got to start it over again. I'm like, oh, who fucked it up? Was it you, Dean? Did you fuck it up again, yeah, Dean? He probably loved and it. He, and that's our friendship. And when I am gone from set for a really long time, he always tells me he misses me. Of course. Because nobody's yelled at him. Nobody's yelled. And then Ed Scott always tells me he misses me because it was very quiet while I was gone. Yeah. And then I say thank you. Ed Scott is an amazing producer. <laughs> He's I an amazing producer. He was incredible. He's, I love him very much. Yeah. He's a very lovely soul. He is. He is. Um, all right, so five fit. No, I'm talking about when the guy really just does another line. He didn't know your line. You, you want to go, dude? Because you, know, you could tell when your partner's going up on the line. You can right. tell. You could see, see it. And again, you could see I, it in their eyes. I usually go. You just forgot the line, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it depends on my partner. Some people don't have that. See, and we, I, 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 I feel like it's a harder yeah. set. I, it's a harder. This might be a harder game because of. What B and B is like compared maybe to other. You, you guys, it's a romp over there. I know it's that for a, sure. It's, it's a romp. Nonsense over here. Yeah, over with us. yeah. It's we, a fun time. And we're all. It's a fun silly. time. It's we're all so silly and yeah. and we just all give each other such a. No, it's great. A I hard know. Time. I know. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, here's one. Here's a good one. I'm gonna get a ten from you. I think on this one. Because I think it's universally a, no, a no. situation. Okay. When your co-star doesn't brush their teeth. Before you have to kiss them in a kissing scene. Yo, yo, cleanliness, yo. I've had it happen to me. Oh. <laughs> because I'm this co star. I'm sorry, I just ate a like onion y salad. I'm just gonna finish this coffee really quick. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Unfavorable. <clears throat> but nobody's Why? ever gotten mad at me. <laughs> Nobody's got no, not to your face. Never. They've talked badly about you behind your back, I don't though. Think so I feel like they've been fine. Really? With me. Because you're hot. Because you're hot. Like they'll take it. They're I'll like, do a mint Like I'll do a. But you had it or something. Make out with Torsten. Yeah, I make out with Torsten. Oh yeah. Torsten. Yeah. But Torsten's the, like I feel like, like he'd be so he'd be going. the first guy to go. Please brush your teeth. Yeah, he'd be the first one to get on to me, but he's yeah. never. He doesn't care. He's never said like. <sighs> Maybe you don't smell. Maybe, I Maybe don't. you're one of those people who can have an onion salad and <laughs> coffee and you still smell like roses. Maybe. Maybe you are. Or maybe I'm just like, please don't Fucking yell at whore. me. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't yell at me. I, I haven't grabbed your boot, but please don't yell at me. I had cancer and I got hit by a car. Please just let me drink my I coffee. Know, eat my I onions. Know, no, it's ever, I know. It's a cancer car. <laughs> you're it's like, you, it's They're fine. Like, you know what? She stinks, but she's got a, She's had a rough life. Let's just let her be. Yeah, let's let it go. Let's let it go. Oh, my, no, but you probably don't smell because there are some people who don't smell. I They're, do you smell. I think no, you I'm don't. A stinky you kid. smell really good right now. I showered earlier yeah, today, smell. so I did too. That. I did too. <laughs> um, but. Uh, oh God! Okay, well, ten for me. But okay, so you do that. What about if, if it's done to you? You smell someone bad. I again, I tell people things. I have no problem being like, "Hey, you need to go get a mint right but now." But how I do you feel so about it? 
I'm that, okay because I'm gonna. You're not annoyed. It. You're no, not annoyed. I'm not annoyed by it. Um, do you know what it is? It's one of our. Our camera guy always has mints on the. On I know the camera. they do. They and do. So I usually just go oh, no, and grab one and then forcibly give people. They, things. By the way, they don't have mints at General Hospital. I okay. asked. I was so used to. Do you have a mint from the stage manager? And he's like, "Huh? What?" They're just like, on the it's cameras. Like, it's like, dude, you bring up your own stuff. No, there are no mints anywhere. So I have to remember oh. to bring mints. Or I, I brush my. If I know I have to get close to my co-star yeah. or kiss, I brush my teeth. I always brush my teeth beforehand. Because I, I mainly have to, Rob says, well, mainly, dude, yeah. After. No, after. Have after. To, have no, you to. have to. You know what? Mainly because I don't want to be that person. Oh. I don't want to be like, Michelle's really cool, yo, but she smells. <laughs> I never want to be the girl who smells. I don't want to be the girl who smells. No, you're the girl who's always like minty fresh. Like, I want to be the girl who's minty fresh. Michelle's always minty fresh. Yeah, Michelle's Do you notice that? cool. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Michelle always smells good. I want to be that girl. Like yes. Nice. I have a question for you, and I have a funny answer to this question, which is why I'm asking you it. And I. She's still. Oh, James is. Jameson is. He needs some food. I think he needs food. Can you go get one of those squirt things, baby, yeah. and then give it to him? Yeah. Oh, for God's sake! Our, our what, what is your question to me? Oh, uh, he's really freaking. Out. Go quick, babe. Go quick. Help, mama. Help, mama. Don't hinder, mama. Help, mama. Don't hinder, lift mama. Your, lift That's me what we up. Say. <laughs> lift me up, lift me up, baby girl. Go get him one of those really quick. Mother of the year, mother of the year. Um, what do you want to ask me? I and I told this story on uh, the red carpet when the you know because CBS Daytime had the thirty years of being number one. They had the, uh, the um, they had the celebration at the Paley Center recently, uh-huh. and I got asked this question on the red carpet, and then I told the story, the answer. And uh, then told my child's father that I told this story. And he was like, I cannot. He was mortified that I told this story on the Uh-oh. red carpet. Okay. And I was like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it's a funny story. They asked me. I'm sure it was funny. I'm going to ask you and let you answer first. I will. And then I will give you my answer. What is the most awkward thing that's ever happened to you during a sex scene? Uh, they asked you that. Yes. And you said you queefed. No, I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Because that would be horrible. Would I'm be going horrible. with what would be embarrassing not, not, or horrible. Not even embarrassing or horrible. It was just what was the most awkward. Like wh- wh- You farted. No. He got a hard on. I'm asking you what was your most Oh, awkward? oh. <laughs> Guess what mine was. <laughs> Guess mine. I, did, I didn't queef. No. <laughs> I didn't queef. Um, during a sex scene, how is he now? Good. Yeah, can you give me 10 minutes, baby? Seriously? So, Natalia, really, we had to talk about this, all right, babe? I really mean it because this is going on camera and people are seeing my mothering skills and uh, it's very important that they see that I'm a good mother and not a bad mother so child services doesn't come over here. Go away. Okay. Um, I, I've never had anything awkward happen during no. a sex scene. No. That's amazing. Yeah, it's always been... Because we were talking about, because they, they, they were like, tell us about them. Like, are they awkward? I, are they I, fun? Listen, I've already gone on record. I love sex scenes because mm-hmm. I love making out. It's super fun. I've always really loved my co-stars. Never come on to them. But I love making out. It's I, And and you and all my co-stars have been very professional. Right. And they make jokes and stuff. So it's never a big deal. I've only had one co-star be weird. weird and it made me kind of weird because he was weird. But big deal. I mean, right. it's still super fun to make out. What a fun gig I have. I get to make out with hot guys. See, and I it's find super them to be fun. so awkward. Oh. I find them to be terribly awkward. Oh, I, and I'm at become, all. And I'm, I'm suddenly super aware Love of what it. my hands are doing. Like, and I don't know at all I want to do is just like really? constantly lift my hands. I don't know. <laughs> just like, I'm so uncomfortable. I had never, up until B&B, I had never done... Oh, you a never makeout done. scene. I had never been in my underwear for anything. I had never nothing. Then B and B put me in my underwear for six months, and I got rejected for six months. Six months of me being like, "Huh? I nope. know. All right, I'll try again later. <laughs> See you later, buddy." <laughs> like, I I had that with my character on YNR. That really? I played. Yeah, she was rejected for two years from Danny Romalotti. But it was like almost every it day. It was funny every day. Yeah, uh, like, yeah. Same with me. Now I've reached the, the point thing. where my co-stars uh, don't flinch to see me in my underwear, yeah. and I'm like, "Can you just pretend that it's a big deal?" I'm sorry, I just burped. No, that's fine. <laughs> Like, I, like they'll come talk to me, like, via body makeup. And I'm like, listen, I know that you're used to this, but can you just act like you're impressed a little bit? Yeah, just Like, don't like, be like, it. oh, just Lindsay naked again. 
<laughs> Thank goodness, like, that our characters aren't us, though. Yeah. You know? Like, that chick was rejected. Yo, nobody be rejecting that shit. Thank you. Girl. Thank you. Come on. Um, I lactated on Torsten. Kors- that was my emotional. Oh, okay. Awkward. But that's okay. Like, we were doing a scene. No. And, and I that's, that's was lovely. like, why, why is your chest wet? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, a friend of mine. A friend scene. of mine did that. A friend of mine did that in, in a movie she was doing. She all over the coaster. Oh no, that's. I mean, he's a dad. He was, and he was so. I mean, it's Torsten. He's never yeah. not nice about anything. He was super nice about it and was like, "I get sign." Yeah. No. He. If you're gonna lactate on anybody, on it anyone, should it be should on be Torsten K. K. <laughs> For sure, I'd lactate on him too. I may have. <laughs> We're bros, Torsten and I, we're bros. Um, okay, you know what? Uh, uh, okay, when you're, when you're co- this is going to be the last time because my son is losing his mind. Um, uh, when your co-star uh, cuts lines in your scene and cuts your lines and because they think it's better because the scene goes better for their character. That's happened a lot um. for me. I'm going to, this is, actually, this is mine on it. This is mine. Five on it. Yeah, it's just five. Because sometimes I'm like, I don't care. Go ahead. I don't. I don't. Care. I didn't like the light lines anyway. Many I, times. I, I've I'm had cool. my lines. I'm cool. Cut but a lot of actors do do this, by the way. Yeah, I've had because they're lines. like, my character would never. I'm cutting that, and I it's like it all your person. all your lines. Yeah, it might depend on the person. I think it yeah. depends on the person. That's true. I've had actors who I work with who, when they change the line, I'm like, no, I made the scene better, and I'm totally cool with you cutting cut all. Yes. Yeah. Lines. yeah. And it's not about my character. Yes. In Yes. And I have other ones who either cut lines or add lines that I'm like, that was stupid. Oh, yeah, they'll add lines. No, I've had that. Like, <laughs> like they'll add lines. And then, then I'm they'll like, they'll say that. things like, like really rude nine. to your character where you don't yeah. have a, a re- retort because it's yeah. not written. Yeah, and you have nothing of- to say. I've worked with people like that, and I'm like, why are you? That's that's amateurish. That's yeah. an actor who who is an amateur. And I'll be. I'm gonna be honest. I've done that in my life too. I've really? added things. Yes, I've done that where where I just felt like my character was getting, you know, disrespected and then I add things and I've added that things, was really rude of me. It I've was really added uncool things, of me. But it's usually been like in a situation where like my character Yes, and it works was, for it, everyone. And it worked for everyone. And it was like Hey, I feel like she should be because my character, I feel like, is on has been on the cusp for the, la- the last few years of being kind of little girl and being more of a strong woman, and mm. they're trying to push her more into like mm-hmm. strong woman territory. Mm-hmm. And so that's the only time I've ever been like, I feel like I'm getting scolded here, so I'm just gonna have her stand up for herself a little bit more. But yes, I, o- yes. I okay it with everyone before. Yes, I, I don't have to. No, do no, it. that's cool. <laughs> no, because nobody really wants to watch somebody. A, a woman being a victim. Right. I don't think that, especially women today, no. they don't want to watch TV uh, and see a woman just be like, oh, it hurt me. Nobody wants to watch a woman like that. Right. I think that we have a responsibility to our audience to be strong and yeah. figure out the stronger way to, you know, do the scene to survive and, and be better and um, entertain the yeah. women who are watching. Yeah. You're spectacular. Our children are going insane downstairs. They sure are. <laughs> we need to be mothers. We need to go out and and just you and I and yeah. have a good time yes. and have you know a glass of wine or six. I don't know, <laughs> whatever, no and some good <laughs> food and just you Fornicate know under the consent of the king. Uh, yes. Fornicate not with each other, but fornicate under consent of the king for sure. <laughs> talk more about that that should be on this yeah um thank you you're amazing thank Lindsay. you thank you for having me i was so excited for being i was so excited here. that you were like hey let's do it and then it was like <laughs> <laughs>